everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paws and Paper. So today I'm still doing page layouts in this journal that we're working on. So today the page layout idea is this little guy here. So it's a little interactive um, policy closure. Folds open. It's got a little pocket, a couple little tags with a belly band, and then a tuck spot behind it with just a cool piece of paper to use for journaling. So that is the page layout idea for today. Super simple and easy. Nothing mind blowing. And let's go ahead and make it in this journal here. So I'm gonna be working on this page right here. And I've got my pieces all pretty much pre-cut just to make everything a little bit easier. So this is gonna be my little fold out part. And again, I'm just using scrap pieces. So this piece here is approximately seven and a half by um, four and three quarters. I really didn't measure. I just kind of picked something that I thought looked um, relative to the size on my page here. So I wasn't really getting too concerned about measurements, just depending on the size of your pages. That's all I did. So I'm going to round corners on this and also I'm going to ink it up with some vintage photo. Now I have not been overly inking this, um, this journal. Everything is inked, but it's just a very subtle inking. I didn't want this one to be too super grungy. This is a little bit lighter. All the soft colors of this journal, I wanted it to be just a little bit lighter and not so grungy. So I have been inking, just not quite as heavily as I would sometimes. Okay, so that is super simple. There is that part there. Now with another scrap piece, I'm going to make a little pocket down here. And so I'm going to line it up and then round this corner so that it fits in there. And I, I did sew around the, all of these, so um, I am going to do that too. So I'm leaving a little bit of space there, you can see, so that it still folds um, nicely. And I need a, I did do a thumb notch up here. So again, this is just a good way to use up some of these scraps. I did have to do, you know, these were the 12 by 12 sheets. Um, so I did have to do a lot of trimming and cutting to put this in my journal. So these ideas, page layout ideas, are just to try to use up all these little off-cut pieces from, you know, a 12 by 12 paper pad. Because it is fun to use these pages in a journal and make them your journal pages. But uh, a lot of times you end up cutting off a lot of waste, you know, and then you're left with how you're going to end up using them. Okay, so I just took a another little off cut of the same paper. So that's going to be my belly band on the inside here. And I'm going to ink that up. So let's get that glued down. And then I'll go and I'll sew around everything here. So yeah, this um, each signature in this journal does have five pages so that is going to end up being 20 pages of decorations that we're going to end up doing because I am going to do a layout on each page or each side I should say so every single side is going to be a layout. So when this is all said and done, we'll have 20 different page layout ideas. Okay, so now I just cut off two more off cut scrap pieces. So we'll have a little tag here and a little tag there. And the only thing I did on these, um, 
on this one that coordinates with this page. I did um, some of these little fussy cut flower pieces out of that little the book that I've been using. I am going to maybe, this is kind of floral, floral-y already. Maybe I can get something that contrasts a little bit. How about that one? That stands out a little bit more. I'm just going to do a little bit of a decoration here. Nothing terrible. Um, or too, too much. Just something real light. And then I'm going to put a little word. I, I was putting a little word on each tag. So I've got just a little fussy cut decoration on this card or this tag and then I'm going to use one of these words here and then I did put some lace at the top of each one of these so there's our two little tags and then let's grab some lace we've got this here use a little bit of that at the top that's kind of cute just a little bit i haven't been doing anything too awfully frilly in this one either um it is um pretty pretty simple I would say I mean it's very very decorated in the fact that all you know the scrapbook paper is really uh, decorated up but I haven't been doing like a ton of of lace or anything yet we'll see how I feel about that this is okay I think you could still write on that with a darker marker so I'm gonna leave that go and then this one here I will probably end up lining that one I've been trying to line them if I think that I can't write on the back. Let's see, do I have a different kind of lace here? Is this the same? No, this is a little bit different. Let's do, let's just do a little piece of this one at the top of this tag here. I'm trying to get in between those three. There we go, so there's, is there a right? Oh, that looks like the wrong side, okay. So that goes down. So yeah, if the tags or the paper looks like you cannot possibly write on it, I have been just putting a little piece of uh, coffee dyed paper or something on them just so that they are usable to write on if you want to. Okay, so there's my two little tags done. And now I am going to take this to the sewing machine and just do a straight stitch all the way around the outside and then I'll be right back. Okay so now I've just sewn around the entire outside that's all I did uh, is go around the outside there and then this is going to get glued down just on three sides because this is going to be a pocket then also. So now it's going to go here like this and we're just going to glue the three sides here so we'll have an additional pocket in the back for another piece of journaling paper okay so just three sides glued try to get it pretty close to my corner I am leaving just a tiny bit I mean, I didn't go all the way to the edge, but I am pretty close. So I have been trying to go pretty close to the corners. Okay, so now, and this here is just some like linen uh, resume type paper. It's just a nicer, heavier weight paper, but all I did was cut off a scrap piece of it, rounded the corners and inked it. So that's all that is, but it is just a nicer piece of paper. And it is, you, I don't know if you can see it on camera, it is kind of like a mint green color. So I thought it went really pretty with this, but this is then just going to get, it gets tucked behind there as a little bit of an additional writing space. Okay, and then the two tags go in here this 
one on the belly band side and one on the other pocket side. Now I made um, the policy closure so I've just cut out um, some scraps um, with my like one inch circle punch here and I am going to put those and I have inked around them so I, I basically just glued two there's two of the dots glued together so I've pre-done those by taking two punches gluing them together hope that makes sense and then I'm going to put a little if I have anything coordinating in my little round maybe like a green one I have a minty green one that might be kind of cute I don't know if I have two of them though kind of running out of these um, I don't know if I have another minty green one. Oh goodness. I have yellow, this yellowy color. I wonder if that's, that might work. I don't think that's too neon. That's not the same color. Yellow, we're going to be here all day just trying to find the right color. Okay, where, oh where. Are you yellow? There you go. Okay. I think I finally found one. Here. That yellow. Please match that one there. Okay. I think I got two that match. So now I'm going to just take and use my crocodile on the one eighth, which is the small puncher, and just try to get a in the middle. Same thing with this one. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little pieces in there. And I do have these washers that go in the back. I, I wouldn't use these if this didn't come with this, but I don't specifically think you need these. This is just what it came with, and I am just trying to use them, so do not think it's necessary and I'm going to squash those down super simple policy closure here okay so now we have those two little pieces which look cute and now I'm going to use my fabric fix and a piece of string here and I'm just going to glue around centerpiece here so that my string will still go around the outside and what I do is I put some glue down I take my string and I wind it around a couple times just to try to get it secured in there the glue now you can glue these down and then tie them I've seen them done all different ways I kind of just Go around a couple times and then put a little bit more fabric fix on top and I've never had them come apart because I don't think you're going to be pulling on them too hard and then I kind of want to orient my flower up so I'm going to just kind of go around again okay and get that glued there. So I have plenty of string here. I think I might have to cut some off. And then this one here, we'll just put down here on the side. Same thing, just a little glue around the center. So super simple ideas, guys. These are easy, easy page layouts. But I think they turn out super cute, like the, just even the little interactive ones. Hang on, I got glue in the center there and I don't like it. There we go. I have like a bubble of glue in there. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of offset at a little diagonal here my two closures. And make sure it doesn't go too close to the spine because we still have to bind everything in. Okay, so then I'll tie that up once that dries here in a minute. And the last thing I did then was just add um, a pretty little sticker. These are like a 
they're like, I, I want to call them like stained glass stickers almost, but they really show up when you put them against like a white background. So I am thinking, do I have anything a little greenish or pink? That, ooh, that one's pretty tall. The blue one looks kind of pretty. Or like the yellowish. I kind of tried to go, maybe this one looks kind of pretty with this color. Okay, let's do this one. These are really pretty. I like these. I, I've been calling them stained glass stickers. That's how I think of them. But these came from my good friend Elka in Germany. So I don't even know where she got them from. They came from Germany for me. So they were a gift. So I couldn't even tell you where to get them. But they're super pretty. Okay, so I just put a little fabric fix on the back of that just to make sure that it is a sticker. So just to make sure that it doesn't peel up on you. So there we go. That is essentially your page layout idea for today. So let's take a look at the last one. I showed you the first one example um, in the last signature there. And then this one here, here is the example in this one. So see what this one looks like. Got your little policy closure, opens up some different lace on the top of these tags and just some coordinating papers. And then it all closes back up like that with your cute little additional writing space with the um, stained glass window stickers. And there you go. So there's another page layout idea. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And I'll be back on the next video with another layout for this journal. So I go, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.